let's answer three key questions about using email to increase productivity in ServiceNow. Number one, how do I enable automatic incident creation from an incoming email? This can be done by configuring an email event. From within ServiceNow, select the All menu, and then in the filter field, type SYS event underscore in underscore email underscore action dot list. and press the Enter key on your keyboard. The Inbound Email Actions page appears displaying a list of events. Select the Create Defect Event link. In this example, when an email comes in with a subject of defect or bug, this kicks off an event to create a record in the defect table. You can make changes as necessary, such as when the event triggers, the execution order, or add and remove additional conditions. Selecting the Actions tab, you see the code view of the same event. Question 2. How do I unsubscribe from unwanted automated email notifications relating to incidents? When you receive an unwanted email about an incident, simply click the Unsubscribe link. Doing so triggers a macro that sends an email to the instance with the subject line starting with Unsubscribe from. The email gets categorized as new email and that categorization triggers the inbound action, unsubscribe from notification. Question 3. How do I enable automated email notifications relating to incidents or tasks? From within the instance, select the All menu. In the filter field, enter System Notification. Scroll to the email menu and then to notifications. I'm going to use the incident opened and unassigned notification for the demonstration. I'll first locate the notification template. I'll enter the notification name in the search field. And press the enter key on my keyboard. And then click the link in the name column. On the When to Send tab, select the appropriate option in the Send When list. Add or remove any conditions you want considered when the notification is received. Then click the Who Will Receive tab. On this tab, you'll add the users or user groups you'd like to receive this notification. And lastly, on the What It Will Contain tab, you can edit the fields as necessary, but take note that if you edit these fields, the templated text will be overridden. We really hope this video was helpful answering your most common email questions. Thanks for watching.